There you are. Happy birthday. God, it's really nice to come somewhere like this and actually celebrate somebody's birthday for once. Everybody else I know seems to just let them pass by without any fanfare. Me included, to be honest. It's a little sad. <sighs> Quiet in here, isn't it? Am I early? Or late? Or something? I thought there were meant to be, like, ten other people coming. God, am I really the first one here? <laughs> well, that makes a change. I'm usually late to things like this. Well, okay. I guess I'll... Um, I'll go opposite you, shall I? Yeah. I'm a little envious of you getting the bench seat. They're always comfier. But I'll make do. I'll do my best to resist the urge to disappear to the bathroom and wait for someone else to arrive. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm partly joking, but also... I don't know, there's something scary about being the first person at a gathering like this. But hey, for you, I'll push through it. I wouldn't want to leave you hanging at this huge table by yourself. Hmm. We're gonna wait for everybody else before ordering, right? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Um, what time were we supposed to be here? I was really sure that I was running late. It was supposed to be 6pm, right? But it's almost a quarter past. Huh, right. Yeah. When I saw you sitting alone in here, I thought I must have got the arrival time wrong. That'd be very like me, after all. It's weird that nobody else is here yet. I mean, I've heard of being fashionably late and everything, but... Hmm. Maybe the traffic's just really bad. Although, I took the bus here, and the traffic seemed just fine to me. Hmm. I wonder... Oh, uh, that was yours, right? Okay. <clears throat> oh, Dan's cancelled. Huh. Real nice of him to tell you 15 minutes after he was meant to be here. Dickhead. Unless his lungs collapsed again, in which case, maybe fair enough. Has his lung collapsed again? It's always doing that. No? Well, then he is a dickhead. I mean, I struggle with organisation, but if I knew I wasn't going to bother to show up at all, I'd at least send a text a while beforehand. Not leave it to the point where I'm already a quarter of an hour late. That's just... nasty. <laughs> right. Frankly, even if his lung had collapsed again, he should still have made the effort. He should be used to that happening by now, enough to just power through it. <sighs> well, let's hope he's the only... Oh no. Did I just curse it? I better not have just cursed it. If that's someone else cancelling... Who is it? Oh, well, of course fucking Silas cancels. He's always been so flaky. You remember when me and him were working together for a bit? <sighs> I like that guy and everything, but Jesus, he needs to get his facts straight and get his act together. <laughs> exactly. I would have been surprised if he had turned up, to be honest. He's the sort of guy who'd show up tomorrow evening and wonder where everybody was. <sighs> oh, well. I was, I was about to say that that must be all the cancelers now, but I daren't. I'm not going to tempt fate like that. <laughs> Let's just have a look at the menu. Hmm. Hey, this looks pretty good. I kind of want to get a cocktail first, you know? What's the word for when it's something you drink before a meal? There's, yeah, there's like a, a fancy word for it. I was really hoping it would just come to me and be, like, impressive. Would that be impressive? Probably not. It would most likely just make me sound like a know-it-all. But, ah, whatever. Hmm. A Negroni would be good, I reckon. Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> it says it on the menu. That word I was trying to think of. Aperitif. 
That's it. I think it means, like, appetizer in Italian or French or something. What's that look about? Oh god, I really am a know-it-all, aren't I? <laughs> well, I'm glad you find it so funny. But you'll be thanking me when you use the word aperitif in front of someone and they're, like, dead impressed. Unless they already know the word and think it's weird that you made a big deal out of it. In which case, you know, you'll probably just be embarrassed. But don't pin that on me. <laughs> anyway. I think I'll have a Negroni. Yeah. Might as well get some drinks in now while we're waiting for everybody else, right? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Maybe send some pictures in the group chat when we get them. Get people envious. In fact, uh, that's not another cancellation, is it? Surely not. Uh, it'll just be spam or something. Don't even look at it. We were busy choosing our drinks. Okay, fine. Take a look. Oh, ugh, not Alex too. That's a shame. They're usually really reliable. Dan and Silas, they didn't really surprise me. But Alex, come on. What was their excuse? <laughs> they, they what? Their best friend? with their older brother in in the fucking cupboard <laughs> what that's absurd that kind of thing doesn't happen in the real world <laughs> that's like some anime shit <laughs> god <laughs> i can't believe it <laughs> uh, okay I, I guess alex has a reasonable excuse <laughs> but <laughs> oh god ah uh, I'm going to have to give them a right grilling about that when we next see each other. Did they say anything else? Did they give any extra detail? <laughs> no. I guess they would be a little preoccupied, huh? <laughs> well, at least they had a good excuse. I met Alex's older brother once. He sounded weirdly like me. Bizarre. <sighs> but man, what are we down to now? Like half a dozen? Three cancellations. Heesh. Oh no. Oh, it's something from the group chat. It had better. Oh. oh no. Oh come on. Ah. Oh. Everyone's. I can't fucking believe that everyone else has cancelled. Oh. This is so shit. It's like as soon as someone does, everybody else feels like they can get away with it. So, so crappy. Are you okay? I mean, this must suck for you. Are you sure? Uh, you don't need to hold it. Uh, okay. 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 I'm sure it's... Shall we just get those drinks in? No, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Of course I'm going to stay here. I, I want to celebrate your birthday with you. I'm your friend. Why wouldn't I? I mean, I'm sure the others think their excuse is valid, but I don't know. I, I can't imagine doing that to you at the last minute unless it was something really serious. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold on. <clears throat> Come here now. It's okay. Look, uh, cry into my shoulder if you want. I know I hate being seen crying in public, so... It's all right. I don't think anybody else has noticed, so let it out if you want. Hmm. It's okay. For what it's worth, if I were in your position, I'd be just as upset. This is mega shitty. I know you don't normally make a big deal out of your birthday, so for everybody to flake on you the one time you want to actually celebrate, ouch. This sucks so bad. <laughs> no, I'm not making fun of you. I'm being totally serious. This is really shitty. And you're right to feel upset. I would too. Yeah, 
This is crap. Come here. Let's get those last few tears squeezed out of you, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, that'll do it. We need to, like, wring each other out like a wet towel. <laughs> is that comforting? Being called a wet towel? Look, I'm not much of a wordsmith, okay? I'm doing my best. <laughs> You'll be okay. Let's get those drinks in, shall we? And don't worry about money. After all that, everything's on me tonight, okay? No, 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 I'm serious. You're not paying for anything. You deserve it. Just think of it as another birthday present. Yeah. Hey, let me... Excuse me. Oh, yes, sir. Are you ready to order? Yeah, uh, just drinks. A Negroni for me, please. And, uh... uh what would you like? Two Negronis, please. Of course. Two Negronis. I'll be back with those in a minute or two. Hmm. Love a Negroni. See, if other people had already been here when I arrived, I might not have wanted to order an aperitif. So this is already a win as far as I'm concerned. Oh, uh, do you want me to move back over to the other side of the table? I, I don't mind either way. Okay, I'll stay put. It's kind of nice sitting next to each other like this anyway. Plus, yeah, this bench is way more comfortable. <sighs> uh, uh, anyway, sorry. Just zoned out for a moment there. Daydreaming or something. Uh, well, you know, maybe I was looking at your eyes. Can you blame me? I never really paid attention to them before. Uh, really nice. Hmm. So deep. But then, I guess if you stare into them like an idiot, like I guess I did, maybe anybody's eyes seem deep. There's a lot to them. Fucking hell, what am I saying? I am talking pure shite. Please, let's talk about something else. Uh, I don't know. Uh... Have you had a Negroni before? I mean, you probably have. It's like a really basic pre-dinner drink. Um, okay. It has this bittersweet flavor that I really like. Supposedly it wets the appetite, hence the whole pre-dinner thing. I don't really know if that's true. Like, is there any science behind it? No idea. Yeah, I guess bitter stuff does kind of make your mouth water, which is at least adjacent to wetting your appetite. But whatever the case, it's tasty, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> I like bittersweet things. Not dark chocolate, though. Dark chocolate is bullshit. <laughs> right. People who like dark chocolate are always, like, super elitist about it. But dark chocolate is a less complex flavour than milk chocolate, I think. It's like... Just pure sweet and bitter and that's it. No depth to it. But aside from dark chocolate, yeah, bitter sweet things are good. Kind of like, oh god this is cheesy, but I'm going to say it anyway. Kind of like this moment now. <laughs> bitter because, well, all your friends cancelled on your birthday at the last minute. I don't know about you but if I were you, I'd be bitter as fuck about that for quite a while. Especially with the people who didn't even bother coming up with a decent excuse. <laughs> but it's a little sweet because, well, we're still hanging out. And to be honest with you, I almost always prefer vibing with just a small group or even one person than a big party. Mm, I know I said that thing earlier about going and hiding in the toilet. That no, was just a dumb joke. If I'm completely honest, I was even a little relieved when it seemed like not as many people were going to be showing up. And when it seemed like nobody else was going to show, well, I got a little excited. <laughs> I hope it doesn't overshadow how being cancelled on must make you feel. I do get it. 
It's okay if you're still upset about that. I'm here for you, honestly. Oh, and wait, hold on. I was gonna... <clears throat> here. Happy birthday, again. It's just a little thing. I went past this little candle shop a few weeks ago, and I saw they had that. That's your favourite scent, right? <sighs> Phew. I was a little nervous that I might have misremembered. I'm glad I didn't. Ah, uh, uh, you know, I don't know how I know that. I guess you just mentioned it one time. Things like that tend to stick in my head when it's someone that I care about. I may not be able to remember to do basic adult tasks, but I have no problem remembering your favorite candle scent. What's that about, huh? <laughs> hey, no problem. I'm glad you like it. I hope everybody else gets you some really good stuff after bailing on you. That's the least they can do. <laughs> Mind you, even if they do, it won't change the fact that I'm going to be absolutely fucking merciless to those that cancelled without a good reason. <laughs> like, they are not going to hear the end of that for a while. They'll never cancel on you again if I can help it. Are you feeling okay, by the way? Still kind of raw, I'm sure, but... Do you think you still want to hang around and have that drink together? Maybe something to eat? If you change your mind, then that's... that's fine. Cool. Okay. I was just asking because... Well, it looked like there was still a little sadness in your eyes. Which is understandable. It just made me want to... I don't know. Made me want to comfort you. Hug you again or some shit. Yeah? Wouldn't be weird? Okay then. Hey, you're right. There's nothing weird about... Here you oh. are, two Negronis. Are you ready to order food? Food? What's that? I mean, I, 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 know, I know what it is. I just... Uh, I... <laughs> I'll give you two uh, a few more minutes. Thank you. What's <clears throat> that look about? What's so funny? <laughs> no, I wasn't flustered. I just uh, didn't know what I wanted to order yet. I've barely had time to think about the menu. Well, I've been distracted. By you, mainly. Your eyes... And I have to say, sitting next to you makes things a lot harder. Uh, well, because, I don't know, you smell good, I guess. It's distracting. <laughs> Thank you. You can, you can get a little closer if you want. Taking a good deep breath. I am wearing some good stuff today. Yeah, damn. What is that? God, your eyes. How have I never noticed them before? You're... You're beautiful. <laughs> have you really been right in front of me all this time? Are you a different person? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm just... having a realisation. I guess it's just because we've never been this close before and not had vulnerable time alone like this and I I this isn't what I expected to happen <laughs> Happy birthday. 